everybody, Brian here from Quantum. Um, questions more about this upcoming intake for the course. Uh, this guy uh, is from South Korea. I live in South Korea, did research with Trade Station for two years. My only country has Trade Station. Now, I just checked Interactive Brokers. Korea is supported. So that alone will be a major, major option for you being in South Korea. Also, um, I'm really interested in your course. Uh, and the questions are, what is a good point than trade station? Well, like I said, interactive brokers is probably the better, the best one out there for retail traders. Also, um, I did check Oanda, Dukas Copy are supported as well. So those are other options if you want to stay in the world of Forex and CFD. But maybe you'll see my video on Friday because today is Monday, December 10th. And what I said was crypto is the place for me right now because there's more cash to be made there, more opportunity uh, just due to the bigger uh, swings. Continuing along. Okay, what is a good point than a trade station? So as I said, interactive brokers is good. It just opens up you up to more programming languages, better support on that front, including Python, C++, Java. I don't know your programming skill level. So speed is there depending upon what language you want to go with. Security, uh, if you're going to host it in cloud, I still don't think that's a big security concern, but if it was, <coughs> depending upon how you lock down your environment, you um, have no worries because you control it if it's sitting on your own servers locally. Is it possible that TradeStation guy or some TradeStation related server can see my code if interested? I don't really know TradeStation. Um, I'm sure you can, what they call, obfuscate it, basically scramble it. Um, and I don't know what you mean by no black box. I prefer no black box technology with Python um, being open source. If I was to use other technologies, um, just to sort of like learn and reverse engineer. Uh, operation stability, from what I've seen, running my own scripts, and it depends upon how you code them. You can definitely get, obviously, any programming language to be stable, depending upon how you code it up. Uh, and uh, I, it's not a concern at all. And any other more good reason? Um, I'm not sure if he's looking for reasons on why I would go with uh, something like Python versus, uh, let's say, TradeStation, as he's mentioning. Um, lots of good reasons uh, with the new up and coming machine learning, especially TensorFlow. I, I did a meetup last night. We had a guy who's heavily doing. Uh, trading with uh, machine learning and uh, he sounds pretty high end up there in terms of uh, connections and uh, getting business uh, for, for a startup that he's working with. Uh, sounds like to me they're putting a lot of emphasis on machine learning. Uh, so that's one aspect. Also, when you're working with black box technology, in, in, regardless of what platform it is, uh, you are locked into what they make available to you. So, for instance, if you want to integrate, let's say, a database like I like to use, like Redis or any other database or NoSQL database, uh, there's that. Also, if you wanted to bring in other data providers, you're going to be challenged with that. You you, you will be highly limited with uh, some kind of black box or platform and the, the control and access that, that they give you. That's why I prefer open source because it enables you to integrate anything you want with what you want. That's one of the huge big reasons to be with uh, an open source uh, technology because you don't have those restrictions. You don't have the licensing, for instance, to renew uh, your software as some do, maybe TradeStation. So those are a lot of the big advantages that it brings. Um, so hopefully that answers a lot of your questions and other people's questions as well because this is pretty common. So I'll put this a video up on the usual places on social media. Other than that, thanks for asking. Hopefully you'll we'll see you in the next uh, intake later.